Rather, why do people put flatbeds on trucks? There's a number of reasons because there's so many different types of flatbeds. So it really just depends on the flatbed. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over this modified Ford F-350 Limited. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Land Rover here in Lehigh, Utah for giving me some time with this F-350. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below where you can actually check this one out right now. It is available for sale. They also sell the new Land Rover and Jaguar product at MSRP with no markups. So if you're looking for a new Land Rover or Jaguar or one of their cool pre-owned vehicles, check them out. And then on a side note, if you need to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. That's a V8, goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for 475 horsepower and then 1,050 pound feet of torque. Now, I actually already reviewed the new F350 Limited. It was actually that one right over there. And so if you guys wanna see a more detailed review on just the Limited in general, go check out that video on that uh, silver one on my channel. Anyways, let's kind of talk about some of the modifications on this truck that's pretty interesting. And then I'll talk about a few of the limited details. Uh, so first off, look at that. We got the cap lights there at the top. We have this ranch hand and yes, it's even right there. And yeah, this definitely, uh, it's very sturdy, but it gives it a pretty unique appearance. I feel like this truck should be in the uh, Yellowstone series <laughs> just with how it looks. But the one thing that gets in the way of this uh, truck's off-road shops is actually the air dam here. Obviously that's gonna mess up with approach angle a little bit, but notice how they just have like these little cut throughs for the ranch hand to go straight through the air dam. And those cuts are actually super good, which is uh, pretty cool to see. But yeah, that's the first thing. Got that ranch hand to give it that kind of like, you know, I don't know, off-road or farmer type appearance. And then notice we have a little bit of negative offset here at the front with the tire and wheel setup. So we've got pretty big wheels here. We've got these fuel wheels and you guys can see we've got the Open Country Toyo RTs on it. Pretty aggressive tire overall. Definitely love the look of it. It definitely kind of like transforms the truck. And then, oh, look at this. We also have upgraded shocks as well with the truck. So that's pretty cool. We've got quite a bit going on. And then you guys can see here for the size 35s and then they're mounted on 20 inch wheels and just kind of closer look at that. And here's our full side view of the truck. Again, interesting with the appearance. Notice we have all of our regular like limited badging, power stroke badge, all that kind of stuff with the mirror cap that's painted. And then you got the nice like limited trim. And then popping over here to the bed, this is where things again kind of get crazy. So again, same setup here on the rear with 35s, 20 inch wheels. And you guys can see the exhaust tips poking here out down below. Um, but yeah, you can see this has a bed built in. You've got little like storage boxes here on the side. You've got the lights there at the top. And this is quite a bit shorter than, you know, a standard F350, because you can see that one with the bed there. It's quite a bit uh, longer compared to this one, which is interesting. It looks cool though, and obviously, you know, this is going to be easier to uh, do some towing with and, you know, stuff like that, right? I can see someone doing like hot shotting with this truck, for example. You guys can see the caps there for everything. And then, popping inside. Ooh, look at that. Got the limited interior. So they have really nice leather seats here. Got heated seats in the back. This truck's so weird to me. It's like a work truck setup but then with the most luxurious interior ever. And look at this, just leather all over the door panel. You got the wood trim, blind spot running for the mirrors, and then look at these front seats. Again, with the really nice premium leather. Power adjustments there, got your limited plaque. Pedal adjustment, right? Again, in a work truck. Now this one is a 2021, so it doesn't have the bigger screen. But we still have, um, as you can see, wait for it. Still have massaging seats. Oh, it's on the last tab with this. There we go. We got massaging seats in this truck. So you could be doing some like, you could be basically hauling hay or something like this in this truck and getting a massage at the same time, which is just crazy to me. And notice this is number 183. It is a, in fact a limited limited. Pretty normal setup here. And then up top here, we actually have like a nice premium headliner. Panoramic sunroof as well. Got all the auxiliary switches with the truck too. But yeah, this is this is crazy. We'll drive in a second, but 
Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. So basically what it looks like they did is someone bought an F-350 and just chopped off the bed and then put this flat bed in. And so, I mean, this build, because I mean, the Limited already is like, you know, close to $100,000 fully loaded. And so then, you know, doing these modifications or everything, I'm sure this truck was well over $100,000 to build this out, which is just crazy. Again, for something that essentially is like a work truck. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's the visibility over the hood. Both mirrors, which do have blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off in this very interesting F-350 Limited. And you know, I think I'll be able to understand this truck by the end of the video, I think. Um, first off, I just drove the other Limited right before this that has the traditional bed. And I can say this feels just a little bit easier to maneuver through the parking lot because you just have a little bit less overhang. Now, I'm sure that they didn't change the wheelbase on the truck. So that's the same, but just, you know, the bed kind of hangs over quite a bit more on a regular one versus this. Yeah, it seems like this is just easier to drive overall. The other thing that's um, pretty typical with flatbeds is they usually do like flatbeds with dualies. So yeah, this, this whole setup is just super unique super super unique like I, I don't think i'm gonna see another truck like this after i review this but first off getting a massage is nice i can tell you that and aside from that ride quality is actually really smooth this really doesn't feel all that much different compared to the stock limited that i just drove right before this a little bit bumpier but this truck also has 21,000 miles. That truck has like 5,000 miles, so maybe that could play a part. It's not a huge mileage difference though. But yeah, I mean, compared to like most flatbed trucks that I've driven on the channel, this is way smoother. Most flatbed trucks, when I'm when I'm driving on the road, it's like dun 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 dun. And you're like, man, that's how I get a massaging seat. <laughs> All jokes aside, it's usually a much rougher experience. Whereas this is actually like I said, pretty comfortable. I'm curious to see the fuel economy on this. 13.4. Huh. A little bit less than the stock limited that I drove right before this, which is kind of interesting. Um, I mean, seat comfort's great with this. Like, the interior, like, you don't really, like, you can see that there's a different bed when you look at the mirror, but, like, when you're just driving the truck, like, you... I just feel like I'm in a regular limited. Like they didn't, they didn't change anything inside here. So I have this like really nice, luxurious looking interior and it's so weird. Like this is such a weird experience. Um, so I guess I'll try to start explaining why this, uh, oh, Gen 3 Raptor, by the way, uh, why this truck might make some level of sense, might. Um, so first off, you know, from, a practicality standpoint, rather, why do people put flatbeds on trucks? There's a number of reasons because there's so many different types of flatbeds. So it really just depends on the flatbed. Um, when I worked at the Ram dealership, the most common reason I'd see people put flatbeds on trucks is because they wanted that set up because it was better for fifth wheel towing. Um, like they were maybe going to tow like a car trailer or something like that. And it was just easier to do that with a flatbed versus a traditional bed for uh, what they were doing. Um, so again, there's a lot of towing applications to where a flatbed just makes a little bit more sense compared to a standard bed. Um, aside from, you know, towing applications, you know, maybe also different hauling applications as well. Uh, again, with the different types of flatbeds, some flatbeds are just better with uh, hauling things on them. It just depends. This doesn't really look like a hauling flatbed though. This looks more like a tow setup um, in terms of just how it is all uh, set up. Um, but why would you get a limited with this? Why would you get a luxury interior with would it would essentially be a work truck and here's what i think i think that the type of person that would buy this truck is probably going to basically live out of the truck which obviously having these like nice you know kind of like light colored seats might not be the best if you're going to live at it if you're going to like eat in the truck and all that kind of stuff and when i say live out of it you know there's a lot of people that like especially in today's world where we have so many job shortages there's a lot of people that just take their truck out and they do work with it 
And so like, I can imagine someone buying one of these just to tow stuff for people across the country. Again, they could do car towing. They, there's all sorts of things that you could haul across the country um, that you know companies might not want to use semi trucks for basically, or they'd want to use something like this. Uh, Cause you know, maybe you'd be able to get a little bit of a cheaper rate, right? Um, but again, if you're gonna be like just going cross country all the time in this truck hauling stuff for people, then yeah, having massaging seats, having very comfortable seats, having a really nice interior, it makes sense, right? To spend the extra money if you're gonna be in this interior all the time. And so even though this is kind of weird, it, it makes sense in that way. But if this was gonna be used as like a construction site vehicle, I don't know in that case, because in that case, right, if you're just gonna have random workers that are gonna be getting in and out of this truck that like are gonna switch off every other week, Again, I, I don't know if that would make sense because they probably wouldn't care to have a super nice luxury truck. I mean, let me know if I'm wrong, but they're probably just like, hey, I just want a truck that gets decent gas mileage, don't have to fill it up all the time and, you know, something that's not gonna break down on me, right? And so, yeah, the application on this is pretty limited. It's a very weird truck, but that's kind of how I piece it together at least is um, someone basically living out of this truck and you know if if i was going to be driving cross country on a regular basis and hauling stuff this is what i would want getting massages all the time so my back doesn't feel horrible comfortable seats again so my back doesn't feel horrible and yeah having a nice luxury interior so that like if i'm going to be in here for you know I, I i don't know what the working hours are of people that would be doing this i imagine very long right if i'm going to be in here for let's say i'm just going to be driving for 12 hours straight every day then yeah yeah, I probably, I probably would want something really nice and cozy and comfortable like this. But let me know what you guys think of this truck. I think it's super unique, very strange. I haven't reviewed anything quite like this before, but there you go. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this F350 Limited. Again, a huge shout out, thank you to the Land Rover here in Lehigh, Utah for giving me some time with the Limited. Check out their inventory in the description down below. I will see all of you in the next video.